<laughs> Are we real streamers or not? We're such real streamers. <laughs> All right. Let's finish this game. Here we go. What a sad day. Today is a sad day. The sylph and the the crab people that you like. Heck yeah. Wow. Esteemed guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. Do they need a translator? Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it we would! Yeah, so they're being captured by the towers and turned into... S ah! Beyond forgiveness, these featherless ones are! With rivers of blood shall they pay! Freed <laughs> our people must be! They are so dramatic. We too so. would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers let alone contend with their defenders. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. <laughs> <sighs> and what of the prisoners? Would you see them slaughtered? Well, he sounded really aggressive there. He is aggressive. Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib <laughs> truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? Yes, we did. Great voice. Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy, masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. What's kind of rude is they didn't give the Beast Tribes chairs. Right. Are they chair sitters though? I, I guess not, huh? What would be most accessible for each of them? Right. I guess I've never seen them sit down before. <laughs> it's just, he's so mad. He's having a big feeling, man. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> what is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. <laughs> Told you. And if we you will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst the Aussie's finest. <laughs> we Sahagin will play our part. We definitely did not read the Sahagin's parts in that way before. We did not. We sure didn't. <laughs> it's unfortunate. We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed <laughs> against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. Yes, we do. I like his voice. Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, 
The Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We accept! We accept! Praise <gasps> me! <laughs> It's taken a while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that mean Filio were here to see it? We still have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more Porxies. But we're moving in the right direction. If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. He's like a bigger Gabu. See. Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Telophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. See, Telophoroi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the scion whose brave efforts oh. have done so much to unite oh. Eorzea. We get to name us. What? Oh. What say you, my friend? I got excited. We get to name them. What moment, please? <laughs> Is that what you're going to say? No, I'm just asking for more time. One moment, please. Might I suggest the Grand uh. Company of Eorzea? I remember a certain someone pondering it once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eorzea. Aye, in that we shall ever be united. I mean, we would have picked it Anyways. Yeah. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Then let it be recorded that on this day, the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. There's a court reporter at the edge just like... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is being recorded. It's his dream. That's what he wanted to do in the first place. That's why he created the... What was it called? I forgot that. How long have we dreamed of this him. moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? What if we said no? Just 
straight up chatting about the Super Bowl. Yeah. Welcome, Warrior of Light. The elder seats here and your friends are waiting within. Oh, we get to walk around before we talkie talkie. Wow. We haven't been here in such a long time. My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Word of Master Fortunault's visit took us quite, quite by surprise. When the Alliance granted Mistress Kryle permission to request Charlene's aid, we did not anticipate so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the Forum. What the nature of that reply may be, we shall soon discover. Dad! What? <laughs> for what? For what reason? What, what, wherefore art thou here for? Dad, use it Elder seats here. Wow. I thank you for granting me this audience. Wow. He looks like Oriange. Yeah, I mean that's what they'll look like when they grow up. Yeah, they're just younger Oriangés right now. How old are they? They're like a hundred years old already, aren't they? Yeah, something. I like am Fortuno Levea. Fortuno. Here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. I said it right. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. What did I call him? Fortunal? Yeah. <gasps> Dad! It has been too long, Father. You look well. Give us a hug. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. Amelians. Amelians. How is Mother? Quite well. She misses you terribly, of course but is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louiswa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. It's not like he saved the entire continent or anything, you know. What, dad or grandpa? Grandpa. Right. <laughs> it was kind of a big deal. So like 15, 16, I think eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're like, they're like elves, right? Oh. Okay, okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So this isn't Revendale. All thanks no. we owe to him. Well, I mean... It is. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. Right. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. We know. And my position remains unchanged. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. I see. Well, the world is gonna burn. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. They're like librarians. It is more than that. It is our way of life, who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. But it's not the Garlian oh. Empire, it's against the Asians. May I ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. No pressure. The final days. Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take 
no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Of course you would. How would they know? Because they're librarians. Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, hmm. but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. He was so cool. And then he turned into a duck. <laughs> if Eorzea falls, so too will Charlie. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. Oh. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. Uh-oh. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, oh. of discipline. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? Such devastation. Such devastation. It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. I would like to sit on my high throne and look down on the plebes. The plebes. Hmm. To ignore the plight of those who one might conceivably save is not wisdom, but it is indolence. Yeah. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike her, you should know better. By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, oh, you shall damn. no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. They just got disowned on the spot. But what? Ha, what? What? Ha, what? What? Father? What? How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Damn. Master Fortuno, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Damn. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alizé! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? This was seen as an inevitable outcome. CV, it would seem Fredola here has come all the way to Gridania to find us. I have explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. I and it'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. The sound changes. The music isn't continuous. <gasps> Friend in a wheelchair. He's alive. He didn't die. Wow. Arnvold! I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Oh my gosh, we were so worried about Arnvold. 
He's alive. He is alive. Dude, Alfie is so excited. Uh oh, but his legs are gone. It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I crane my neck up at you. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you're sitting down. Unless. Mm. Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. Come on, Alfino, it could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for mm. others to decide. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe in them. at stake and how many people are depending on you but I believe in you believe that you'll see it through that's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you like Albert and Owley once entrusted their dreams to me there was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Well... I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. Mm. Oh, you've got a pr 
pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero. Do you know that? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. <laughs> There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? If you're content to twiddle your thumbs, thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. Then I reckon you've got some fight left in you. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. Ah, Aaron Vall is alive. Yay! All right. Let's see how long we can survive without dying. That's really my goal in these, is to try to survive as long as I can. The trick is not to go into the middle of the pack, just to annoy the ones right outside. Oh no, frozen. They almost got me, they almost got me. Where are my people? Come on, people. Attack the crystal. Okay, let me hide this. No! Get away from me! I think I got a good session if I only died like three or four times. I think that's a pretty good session. Why is nobody attacking the crystal? Come on, guys. Oh, get away from me. Run! No! 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 Typically my goal in this is to waste everybody's time on the other team. No, 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 Get away from me, get away, get away. No, stop pulling me in, dicks. Why are they picking on me? Don't they know not to attack the tank? Are you winning? No, we're in last place. Sports. We represent sports. Sports. We support all sports. Yeah, all the sports. Especially when they're the biggest game of the year. Yeah, that's the only time we watch the sports. That's the only time we watch the sports, actually. We support them in spirit. The throwy balls, the kicky all the balls, the all the balls. All sports. The, all of the balls, all the plays and things. Yeah, we, yeah. we play all those. You know, we do come from a university where our mascot was a comet. It's a comet. And our, our best team was a chess team. Yes, it was. And how good were they? That's why we say sports. They were very good. They were very good at that sport, too. Which one? Chess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were, yeah, they were like national champs and shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. You ready? Let's do it. So we're representing sports today because the big thing is happening. Meteor. Meteor. Stop it. Meteor. Look. A meteor. What? Do it again. Look at that. Meteor. Here we go. I think it's a talking. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlian, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us adversary. in unprecedented numbers, compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Of course. We will do what we always do. Deal with the ones our allies can't. 
A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? Quite right. Quite right. Are oh, these white-haired brethren? Oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Gods be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. For one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. <laughs> there is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Tolofaroi have already arrived. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Uh, have up. care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. Did he use it right? Wherefore, our foe? Why our foe? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're the one that hasn't been using it correctly today. <laughs> Just gotta double check and make sure. All right, here we go. Um, listen well, friends. The Talaferoi are sweeping across part now. As for the Asian, he was briefly sighted above the battlefield, but has since vanished. He, like... Thus far, the movements of our Lunar Primals have proven difficult to pre predict, even when poised to ambush our troops. There we go. Whatever the Dilophoros may be, the Primals are our Shmurfmer. Understood, they will not elude the Scions for long. Oh, alright. Oh, here we go. Prepare yourself. Give it out all. Here, let's put me on there, too. <laughs> so you can see what we're both doing. -da -da. Come on, guys. I'm a tank. I'm going to tank all of these. Just tank them. Tank, tank, tank. Give them all to me. So they sh would overmelt us with sheer number. I will keep them occupied. The rest of you seek out the primals. Let us divide our forces that we may locate the primals more swiftly. Thank you. Destroy. I'll concentrate my efforts on tempered. With luck, I should have the chance to cure some of them. Then I'll go west. CV Alphano, come with me. Following Estinian. Oh, you're not there yet. Uh oh. I encountered a thing. That's right. Oh no. I'm ahead of you. Oh no. Uh oh, something's happening. Uh oh. What? What happened? Okay. Oh my god. You're ahead of me. This is not okay. Alice and Gra, take the. Uh, it's okay. We'll see it when you get there. Okay. <laughs> oh, does that mean I get to control? Oh, okay. It's just a look ahead to see what you're gonna encounter here in a minute. I'm Alize. Where am I going? Following. Follow them. But they all went in different directions. No, they didn't. There they are. You're looking for Estinian and Alfie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't see any primals. Something's not right. Wow. Wow. As the scions spread out across the field, Alice and Graha take the fight to the Tilaferoi. Yep. We, I have no idea how any of this, what any of these buttons do. Yep. Uh, not a single bit. Are we going to be Alize for a second? We are. All right, defeating the enemy. To the Tilaferoi. Does it matter who I go to? Nope. I think the square is a, an AOE, so you can use that. Allow me. Allow me. Um, yeah. So you just kind of press all the buttons and pressing all of ma them. Make up the rotation as you go. Pressing all of them. Oops. Literally pressing all of them. Okay. All right. All right. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Get away from Gra. Yeah. 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 There you go. Just wait there. Just wait there until the outsides disappear. Go. Go to the outsides. There you go. Yeah. You, you don't need to AOE. 
Which one's AoE? The square one. Yep, got it. I don't know what dual casting does. But but this one down here heals you, I think. Oh, does it? Oh, there, to the right. Yeah, yeah, there. No, go to the very cor the very edge, yeah. And then when they explode, leave it there. Okay, now leave it there. Leave, leave it there. It there. Leave. leave it there. Leave yeah. it there. Going. As far, going as far back going as you away. can. Going away. Going away. Going away. There you go. Now you can hit it again. All right. Did you already finish finish? No. It I, seems we've earned a moment's respite. I, I earned a moment's respite, so okay. I was waiting for you. Then let us take this opportunity to cure the tempered. Oh. <laughs> I, I did not see if there was any actual rotation. Wait, where's Angelo? How are you? Sp oh, there's Angelo. Talk to Angelo. Do you see that? The glyph? Yes. How worried should we be? Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see ethereal currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cardinal. Now that I'm here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an etheric confluence, like to the pillars of the Azim Steppe, but greater in scale. Far greater. The glyphs that Fan Daniel has conjured reach into its very midst, and I believe I know their purpose. Should the lunar primals destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resultant disruption to the flow of ether would sow chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempests large enough to lay waste to the realm. That he would go so far cometh as little surprise. We must needs protect the confluence at all costs. Since Ishtola can see either currents with her blind eyes, nobody else has to carry their goggles anymore. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, oh we're Uriange. Is that Odin? So the time has come to pit my blade against his. Follow my lead. Wow. Odin. Whose okay. lead are we following? Uh, Tancred. So you're attacking Odin. Tancred's not moving. I know, you gotta attack first. Oh, okay. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I think triangle is a uh, heal. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Aspected healing. Oh, no. Healing is this one on the left side there. Yeah. That's healing. Oh, look. I made a bubble. Oh, me too. Oh, what's happening here? You stole that. What's happening? I have no idea what these moves are. I think square is the attack. The scroll combo. Oh, heal yourself. You're dying. No, that's not a heal. Shit. It's a shield. Get away from the Yishtola. Oh, no, the confluence. The eye failed. Oh, no. How was I supposed to protect it? No. Don't tell me I had to start all the way over. No, there's checkpoints. Oh, okay. So, how did you... I have no idea what I did. I didn't even get to this point. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, the confluence is dying. Are you supposed to heal the con heal the confluence? Oh, okay. Oh, oh you I failed. failed too. How'd you fail? Who died? Oh, are you supposed to be the healer? Are you supposed to heal oh. everybody? Oh, when did the stacks happen? Okay, just talk to him again. Did you have to start over as Alize? No. Or before that even? No. It just starts at Odin. You just skip it. Oh. Am I supposed to heal your Stola? <coughs> I think we're supposed to be healers and we're supposed to heal our, our friends. Uh-huh. Literally never healed before. Yeah. Shield with stacks. Sealed with stacks. I will protect. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. I'm healing the confluence. So just make sure to heal your buddies. Does that mean that Thankard is tanking? Oh, oh what's this Another one? stack. Another stack. Where is the stack happening? Oh, no. For me. <laughs> get away. Get away to the outside. I feel like I suck at this. I have no idea what's happening right now. Heal everybody. Healing. 
Okay. They're full. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, not no more. Okay, okay, okay. And shield. Shield. Away with you. I will I will read your messages when I die again. <laughs> so far I think I'm doing alright. So All right. This seems easier than the next stream Oh, get out of that. that. Oh, I won. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll walk you through, I guess. Okay. Okay, attack him. Attack. Use your square and your X. X and square. Yeah, and circle, square. circle. Oh, oh, run away. Yeah. Uh oh. Is that right? To the left, left. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. 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 All right. Keep shooting him with your triangle and circle. Keep shooting with triangle and circle. How about I heal everybody real quick? Yeah. Oh, good job. Okay. There you go. There you go. She's healed. She oh. is not. She's no longer healed. Okay. Get closer. To okay. You gotta attack him because he's not. Where'd he go? Uh oh. I just shielded accidentally. Get out of that. Oh, that took away so much. Oh, man. All right, keep attacking him. Attack him as, as much as you can. Attack him. Trying to circle, circle. Uh -oh. This is the wrong place. Yeah, no, 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 don't go. Yeah, don't step on this outside ring. It takes damage. Circle, 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 circle. Circle, circle, circle. You're pressing square and X. Oh, what am I supposed to press? A circle. And? Because your square and X were on the cooldown. Uh, sometimes I'm just looking at nope zones. Yep. You have not yet memorized your your shapes. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's okay. You're not supposed to tell anybody that. Oh, look, he disappeared. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Grahatia and Alize prepare to walk swords with Lunar Ravana. Ooh, Ravana. Cool. Oh, are we going to be Gra this time? Oh, we are Gra this time. Graha. So what is Gra? Yeah. No, I have a lot of respect for healers because it doesn't seem like a good thing that I should do. Yeah, we were going to start as a healer. No. Oh, is, wait, is Gra a healer? What is that symbol? Like Medica. Oh, he is. So we gotta, we have to heal the, the confluence still. All right. Oh, hey, it's Padre. Hey. We're finishing it today before the Super Bowl. The what? Super Bowl. Sports. Sports. All right, so we just gotta attack. Oh, he can be a paladin. Cool. Like boss to a flame. We have to keep them from the confluence. Okay. You know, I should probably turn on the spell names so I can see what they are. Oh, you can't see them. I, I, I lost. Duty oh, what failed. Is this what is this uh, you, No, you're supposed to attack all those things. Attack them all, she says. Oh, break. You're supposed to cast break. Cast break. It's there. Okay. Okay. I think you have to cast break on all of them. Cast break. Do I have to aim them all? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I might not win this one. I have no idea. Nope, that was wrong. This one. This one. This one. Hey, you You gotten further than I did. I failed there S somehow. Oh, not a break. I didn't have a break. I need this oh, one. what's happening? Uh-oh. Heal the confluence. Okay. Okay, you're supposed to heal the confluence. When am I supposed to cast the break? Rejoice in the glory of combat. That's what we gonna be saying tonight. I'm still in this break part. Oh, I think, yeah, I finished that part. Okay. Uh, this one, this one. Heal the confluence. Heal the confluence. I'm healing Alice. Healing the confluence. All right. Oh, I'm dying. Alize, cure me. Why can't you use res? Oh no, how do I get more MP? I don't have any more MP. You have to wait. Uh oh. I have zero MP. Squares, squares, squares. And break. I don't have any MP. Oh my god. Oh no, Alize's oh dying. I was supposed to heal you, Alize, but I don't have any MP.
Alice, you need to do a better job DPSing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, not the punch ones. Healing is so hard. This is so hard. No, no, Alice is dying. I have to heal you, Alice. I have no, no, stop dying, Alice. Did you win? You won. You finished before me. How did you, how did you win? <laughs> I don't know if I could be a scholar either. At the self same moment, you stand shoulder to shoulder. Oh no. I'm almost out of MP. Oh no, I didn't read it fast enough. Oh no, oh no. I'm out of MP. Okay, feed Lunar Efreet and defend the Etherical Confluence. Am I supposed to destroy them? Is this floor a giant nope zone? The purple is. Okay. All right, Alize. I don't have any MP still. I'm, st I'm still behind, by the way. I'm still over here fighting Ravana. if you needed to know. Who is healing me? Alphano is a heal. Whoever those are. We did meet his uh, his douche of a dad earlier. Oh, douchey dad. No bueno. Make sure you destroyed the infernal nails. What? Because when he does that, when the infernal, yep, yeah, uh -huh. the infernal nails take away a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Estinian almost got KO'd. Yeah, he did. All right, now I... I'm back to doing a rotation that I know. Right. I'm just gonna come hang out over here with these guys. And I'm gonna follow them over here. <laughs> Was he surprised when he, he came across him? Okay, okay, okay. Going with a stin- Who it is? What is that? What is it? Is it uh, Discord? No, I don't know what that was. Get him. Oh, no. Ah, summoners. It's so much faster killing these things when you're a deep. <laughs> Be like looking in the mirror. Oh, what's happening here? Oh. Oh no, I failed. How'd you fail? I looked at chat. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. I wanted to know what was happening. Chat is a distraction oh, to so progress. Funny. I'm reading. It's great. China's. The self same moment you stand shoulder to shoulder with Alphano and Instinian resolved you, to lay lunar freight low. Skip this. Oh, yeah. But I didn't get to read it the last time. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay. Still cool. It is still cool. Squares, squares, squares. Yes. The AC turned off. Is that, wait, good? Yeah. Are you hot or cold or? Cold and it was loud in my ear. You're cold and it's loud, okay. Yeah. Good to know, good to know. Seems like I'm, I get cold and then it turns off and I get really hot. I mean, that's what happens. That's why we have it on in the first place. Oh, Lord have mercy. This way. It shrinks. <laughs> oh, you took my buttons away. My buttons are all the way over there. Oh, I didn't take it away. Well, they, they got put over there for now. That's because you left. True that. Oh, look at these infernal nails. Uh oh, I can't destroy them. I'm not doing enough DPS. Oh, he's turned into, he's used the power. It's, he used the Estinian power. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow, thanks, Estinian. Get out of the way! Get, Get out, out of the, the way! Just following them. I'm just gonna follow them. Get out just of the gonna way! Just gonna follow them. You're standing right in front of it. I didn't know what I was doing. It's time we ended this. Oh, Lord. All right, Estinian. Following Estinian. Do something. Estinian, I guess, is the tank here if you're not a tank. What would he be if you were the tank? The DPS, I guess. Oh, okay. Did you get it? Yeah. Nice. Uh, dying. Oh, okay. I'll wait here then. <laughs> I'll take this off. 
Get out of the way! Oh. Get out of the way! You <laughs> keep standing it. In following front of the it. guys. Following the guys. Following the guys. Following the guys. <laughs> I did it again. Fuck my. Uh oh! Get out! Get outside of it! Outside! No! No! Yeah! Like I didn't, I didn't follow a city in that time. You did not. I didn't know where he went. Oh! Get out! Of front, get out! Get out! Get away from it! Oh! Never mind. Here he goes. Estinia is gonna do the thing. So it's come to this. Roar, need hug. Roar. I have you now. Oh, wow, lucky attacked them all at once. Keep attacking. Lunar Free has weakened. Keep attacking him. He's almost dead. You're not a healer. Don't heal him. Just keep attacking Free. I'm not healing anybody. Oh. You are pressing your healing button. What's my healing button? You're trying. Well, he's just really mad. He just keeps slamming into the ground. Like, it's time we ended this. Is it? I, it was when he said it, but it was taking a while to end it. Finished it. High five. Good job. Da, 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 da. There isn't. Oh, okay. Because it's not done. It's not over. It ain't over till it's over. This looks like the stage for that one of the PVP zones. Mm. There he is. And thus another plan went up in smoke. I am beginning to see why Lord Xenos thinks so highly of you. Not that this changes anything you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. Yes, we have, and Daniel. Something gonna come out of the ground? Who got hurt? Thought I was Ardbert for a second. Glory be to the Garland Mall. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can, but some were beyond help. Do not hang your head so, brave scions. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved, we are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please, hold your heads high. your kind words. They mean a lot.
a victory at great cost, but a victory nonetheless. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? To the very end. To the very end. To the very end. Oh. He said it with us. That's what we said. <gasps> A CGI cutscene. Nothing in the sky is real. First it was Dalamud, now the moon is shining. What? Stop That's that. how it ends. Stop Guys. that. Guys. What? Guys. 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 Did we just finish it? Oh, there's post credits. We made wow. it to Endwalker! We haven't made it yet. This is not done. But we're almost. We're, we're in the credits. We, we can't are in say the credits. We're the, we can't say it. We haven't finished it. We didn't get the check mark quest. Look, we've been waiting for this moment for a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a year and a half. <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that about average time for people to get to end walking? <laughs> I think it's about average time, huh? Wow, I like this art. This art is really cool. This is gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> Do most people get there faster? <laughs> Story skips don't count, okay? <laughs> oh, darkness. No. Let's play the game of we remember their names. What's their name? Becklug. Becklug. Hunting. No, that's the XR. Ooh, oh, this one. Okay. This, this is this one. Um, with, um, starts with a T. Child who killed his caretaker. I'm not good at this game. I, I don't know his name either. I just that's how I remember him because she went crazy and turned into a sin eater because of him. Ooh, Talos. Oh, your face is gone. <laughs> wow, we fall, guys. So good. Did we fall? Ooh. Chinas. Both of them. Both Chinas. Both, <laughs> Both of the Nezes. <laughs> oh, ghost boyfriend. boyfriend. Except in this scene, he is not ghost boyfriend. He, was... he is, uh, he is not the little bus. Who is the other one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so bad with names. We remember the little bus, but not the other one. Oh, it's Tiviera. The other Asian, the big Asian. What, Xenos? No, Xenos is not an Asian. Oh. Who is controlling Ghost Boyfriend? Oh. No, is it? Is it a little bus? It is a little bus. It is. It is a little bus. Okay. I was, I was getting him confused. Oh, I was getting him confused with uh, Emmett Selk. Oh. Yeah. That's not what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. That was so good. That was so good. All right. Well, it's not completely done yet, but where does Shadowbringers rank so far in the expansions? Oh, what do you think? I really like Shadowbringers. I, I still did. really love Sh Stormblood, though. Yeah. I think Stormblood is still my fave. I still, I still like Heaven's Word. Yeah. I think Shadowbringers really was a 
really good at the end there. Yeah. 5.3. 5.3 was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what about you guys? So far, favorites. What do y'all think? I think Bodrick said that uh, Shadowbringers is his number one so far. Is it still? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, we haven't played Endwalker really? yet. Wow. So, do we lose our sprout after we talk to him? Gotcha. Do, do, do Okay, it. we're doing do it. it. You're doing, We're doing it. it. All right. Well, I, I am going to take a picture with all these guys with my sprout icon before I go. Wait. Where you lost your chance. I did. Okay. See, I still have a sprout icon. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Did you do your, <clears throat> your picture? I did. Okay. I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight aboard the pride of the Ishgardian fleet. Lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed to a nearby location to be retrieved at your convenience. You have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich, and may I say how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lay in the same direction, and it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errant friend has been since <laughs> last he took his leave. He did not like that. He didn't want to talk to him at all. It would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. I merely grew weary of wandering the Far East. Um. Returning to more serious matters, while the Telophoroi have been driven from Cartno, tis like that bulk of their forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Company of Eorzea's first joint military operation, however, I am confident that we have the potential to meet such threads head-on, even without the aid of you and yours. As such, keeping while our forces keep the Telophoroi at bay, I would ask that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. And given our expertise in the field of etheriology, it's etherology. It, uh, it's e etherology. Etherology. It didn't look right today. We are better qualified to find the solution. That we are, especially should it happen to lie beyond the Alliance's dominion. There is a time and a place for formal investigations, of course, but certain secrets are wont to hide where only enterprising individuals may venture. I could not agree more. There are none better suited to the task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you are able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have any, you sh should you have need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. We appreciate it. <laughs> so late. I confess I had hoped to be able to study towers more closely, vital as they plainly are to the Telophoroi's plans. If we can discern their ultimate function, we will be one step closer to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course, it is all but certain that the Telophoroi will mount an all-out invasion. And then it will begin. The one who awaits at the heart of the chaos will come for us. For you? Yet in the end, our true nemesis may be the calamity to end all calamities, the final days themselves. Yes, all right, Alphano. We need a plan, not portents. Uh-huh. Is it portents? Yeah. Oh, okay. As Thankard so eloquently pointed out, we are in a position to seek information from all manner of places, not least Charlian. Charlian. Oh, I thought you read it already. <laughs> According to Kral, the forum have been more secretive than ever of late. While this may be related to the appearance of the Telophoroi, that remains a matter of speculation. But one thing is clear, the forum is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Sir Fortunal. Per Fortunal's performance at the Lotus Stand was enough to convince me of that. Fortunal. Pinche Fortunal. The matter beareth further investigation, I do heartily concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for the answers we seek on the matter of the towers. Charlian have ever been the wellspring of etherological <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I care not where we go, here or there, my lance will be ready. Hither or thither. Hither, thither, there. <laughs> oh, the AC came on. And what of you, CV? Might she be persuaded to join us? 
No. Cook <laughs> worms and beer. I said I'm gonna say. Are you? <laughs> Plot a chorus for Charlie. An island of bookworms and bureaucrats. Do I have to? Here, here. It is time we laid bare the Telephore's dark design. To be frank, I myself would sooner plump for a tropical paradise. But Kryle does need our help, and who knows where the trail might lead us. <laughs> it appears we are in agreement. We have but to wait for Kryle to secure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there's a matter I would investigate. Does it involve a tall structures? By strange coincidence, it does. At present, I have only a creeping suspicion, but with your help, I will soon find out whether my fears are warranted. They are very much so warranted. <gasps> what? I don't get why we gotta shush. Emo. I don't get it. Did we lose it? Oh. Meanwhile, in the Garlean capital. Oh. oh. That's true. Uh oh. Ooh. A reaper. Wow. Oh, that's what he picked. Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. Okay, okay. The time has come to fulfill your heart's desire. My desire! So crazy. He's definitely a theater kid. To relieve those wretched creatures <laughs> of their meaningless existence! <laughs> <sighs> Are you calling him Maarte? He is so Maarte. He's so dramatic. <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, they are. While I While. await you, I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself upon the darkened moon. Okay. That's pretty intense. A little bit emo over here, this guy. <laughs> then you shall come to me. All roiling rage and rancor. And the stars shall bear witness to our final contest. Um. As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here, too. It was the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically, far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. They're sucking it up, man. God, 
his land just huge. What tidings bringest thou from Dravania? The same. We took a number of readings and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short, is being said that the towers are drawing upon the land's ether, which would explain how they were able to carry out the summonings. She added an R in that drawing. It's because she's British. You know? Our allies must be informed of this. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. Did not see the moon glowing like it was sucking it all up? Hear me. Hear me. <gasps> Hear me. Hear me. talking. Different words. <gasps> Is it meant for you? Darkness comes. Darkness comes. comes. And with, and with it, with it, the end, the, end. the, fate, the fate, fate of the star, of the star is in your hands. hands. That is not Menfi. It's Hydaelyn. That's the first time we ever seen her. Everything all right back there? Chill out, I'm talking to somebody. Who was that? Guys, the moon is obviously red now. That's not the sun. <laughs> Come on. At solemn dawn, grim purpose shines and gazes cast toward moonlit, moonlit sky. Thus does our final curtain rise, your steps to guide what end betides. <gasps> Trophy under the darkened moon. Oh, we still have it. We still have it. We still have our sprout. We're still sprouts. Still have it. We still have a sprout. Alright, so it's not quite the end. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna log out and watch the thing. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, gotcha. let's, let's log out and watch the thing. Now we're the current screen. We're current. We're finally current. We're current. Well, as current as this screen is. Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? Are Man, you ready? I don't even know if I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Not that we haven't seen this a million times. Just kidding. Myself, you know. <laughs> and I've had 
enough of this rabble. Come on! As the chaos spread, the star seemed doomed to unravel. And yet... Wow. There were those who stood in defiance of that fate. That's not right, Malgar. I thought it was. It's all or nothing. Until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Whoa. 